So um, when we are discussing international comparisons and so on, um, you know, we sometimes say Western and Eastern, and I say that because it's convenient. But you know, when you really think about it, uh, oh, what what is it? I mean, Western and Eastern, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, for example, uh, is the UK Western? Probably it's because West of Europe and so on. But you know, when people say Western, people don't actually typically think of Ireland as Western, um, you know, because, you know, it's different, <laughs> it's chaotic, uh, so maybe Ireland is not Western. Is Russia Western? Uh, maybe, uh, because it's west of China, but, you know, uh, maybe uh, President Putin, you know, uh, vodka, uh, maybe, uh, it's not typically Western. Is Australia Western? Uh, probably, yeah. But you know, Australia is actually down under, you know, in the southern hemisphere. So, but in United States is Western, isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah. But it's Nicaragua Western. Uh, for that matter, is Spain Western? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, all these different nuances. I mean, this spectrum of different cultures, uh, which are wonderful in themselves but you know this word western has a lot of ambiguity the same applies to eastern uh you know japan is probably as east as it can be seen from the continent because it's east of the continent but you know how about china yeah it's definitely eastern isn't it i mean but it's west of japan actually so seen from tokyo where i live China is actually Western, but it's Eastern, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, how about Hawaii? Is it Eastern or Western? It's part of the United States, so maybe it's Western, but it has its indigenous culture, so uh, difficult to say. Is India Western or Eastern? How about Pakistan? Uh, you know, how about Middle East? How about Africa, for that matter? Is it Eastern or Western? You know, this, so, you know, when you really think about it, uh, you know, this terminology of East versus West and that kind of sound, you know, it's really confusing. And, you know, as a scientist, as a scientist, I would say that it's not a scientifically well-defined idea. But, you know, in the media, you repeat it, see it, a uh, phrase like that. And I do actually use it in certain contexts because it's convenient. Uh, so when I wrote the book, uh, a little book of Ikigai, I, I did, I, I think I did uh, mention Western, Eastern, Eastern and Western for convenience. Uh, but, you know, it's never an exact term. And, you know, what, last night I was watching the docking of SpaceX Dragon and the International Space Station. And, you know, seeing from up there, <laughs> everything is down under, isn't it? I mean... Uh, Japan, China, the UK, uh, France, the United States, Australia, they are all down under. So, you know, in this space age, uh, when we do use these terms, uh, Eastern and Western, we should, you know, have a grain of salt in our hand. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. That's it. <laughs>